It is a test of internal democracy as the People's Democratic Party in Bayonzo State set out to conduct primaries for its state and federal constituencies. Assembly member Obuku Ofoji wins the PDP ticket for the Yenagoa Kolokuma Opokuma federal constituency with 74 out of 79 votes. We must work as a family for the success of the forthcoming National Assembly election, State Assembly election, for the interest of our party. With me as a standard bearer of PDP, victory is sure. I believe that PDP, having done this today, will go into the elections with a very high temperature. And not only in the National Assembly elections, Come 2023 presidency, PDP will take over the villa and Nigeria will once again, will once again be happy. Attention shifts to Sagbama Ekeremo federal constituency where the incumbent Fred Agbedi went into the race with seven other aspirants to have a third bite at the cherry. Fred Agbedi, Fred Agbedi. The Agoro politician triumphs with 49 votes. I want to use this opportunity to also thank His Excellency the Governor, the former Governor of Bayasa State, Senator Ernie Sarake Dixon, and then particularly the delegates. The journey begins from here. No victor, no vanquished. Any mandate to further represent them requires that you do more. And of course, you know I'm ready and prepared to do more for my people. Some assembly members also sang the victory song. I'm eternally first and foremost grateful to God, to the governor, to my elder brother I.G. Benny Yorokman, to the delegate and indeed the entire constituent for giving me an opportunity once again to fly the flag of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 uh, general elections. So let me pledge once again that I will take this party to victory like the way God did it in the last general election. The people came out and responded positively. And today, God willing, I have emerged the candidate to represent my people in the forthcoming election 2023 in Kolobo Bukma too. I want to appreciate our leader, His Excellency, the Governor. Of Vietime George, Arise News.